again today because I love it. Bit of a foggy one today. I don't know you can tell behind me. Yeah. Ten acres, I can't even see the sides of it. It's actually pretty foggy. Let's see what pops up, shall we? Oh, so much of is just ten acres, it's unreal. And I've still barely touched it. So without further ado, one is gonna stop talking. Or as I say, less gassing. And let's get to it. See you on the first season hole. Bit nippy, off a drop. Finally, right, German first decent signal, and I'm going to do a bit of a live one for you. Twenty six. What it was. Could be good. Could be good. Or it could be, as always. Bit shrapnel, bit rubbish. The way the numbers skipped around there and makes it not feel you'd hope. Usually a good thing will stick around with the same number. So you never know. Signal, it could be. Oh, that's a big clod. It's a deep one though, so it should be. Right, well, nothing obvious. A bit of rust, I think. I saw the top of that. Is that rust? A definite colour change difference. That's what it'll be. Before I bring out so good, bit of furniture fitting with those things. Oh well, let's crack on, off a drop. Just had another signal up here. It's just a big old 50 cal. It doesn't look like it's been fired. It still looks like it's in the jacket of the actual casing. Yeah, man, I'll take that. All right, let's crack on. All right, I was gonna call this my something lock related for the day uh, I don't think it is I think it's part of a horse bit um, I thought that was the catch you know for one of those swing locks that has a hook for the loop but it isn't I reckon it's gonna be horse bit off drop it's my first of the day it's an itty bitty tiny sort of button cap so yeah I'll call it a button and we'll move on shall we no decoration on it let's crack on Right, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like I'm on my first bit of something old. It's a worm. It isn't, it's this. It looks like a buckle. I'm going to say it's a buckle anyway. Ooh, nice spectacle buckle, that. Bit of the old stuff's popping up to say hello. No coins as yet. But I'll take a spectacle buckle on the pasture any day. Yeah, I like that. Let's crack on. I'm going to call this one and say it's a coin. I'm not 100% sure, but sounds like it. Twenty-one, twenty, twenty-three, twenty-one. 20, 23, 21. Uh, it was 2021 when I chose to do the live, so I'm going to call it a coin and still stick by my standings. Although the numbers are skipping around a bit more now. Making sure I don't chomp through it with my spade dig around it but not a massive trench all right nothing obvious standing out uh no dark soil other than this oh check it's in there um i'll leave that to the side stick this to the hole have a wiggle around and see oh i was right there dark soil remember i was saying about dark soil oh what's this bit of a shrapnel right Crack up. Um, and let's ignite the old. This to be a pocket knife. I'm going to call it a pocket knife. Yes. <laughs> Don't know the age of it. Very rusted up. Got a right collection of these at the moment. Oh, hello. It's got something written on the handle. Well, it's got the word knife on it, so I'm not wrong there. What's this bit say? 
guide knife. Is that a girl's guide knife? Girl's guide, I found a girl's guide cap badge not far from here as well. That is pretty cool, isn't it? Shame it's all rusted up. But I'm gonna say it's a girl's guide pen knife. Awesome, uh, right, let's crack on. Well, the part of the field I want at the moment doesn't seem to be that old. It was sat in there, looked lovely and green. It's now it's just a teaspoon. It's just a teaspoon. Uh, so I've had a girl guy's pocket knife and a teaspoon. No coins as yet. Very strange this field. This field usually chucks them at me. Can't get enough of them. But today, it just seems very quiet. Filling this hole properly and off we trot. I'm an absolute disgrace by the size of this hole I've dug. It's humongous. And it was for this. It's called uh, Sunny Spread. And it'll cost 10 and a half D, which I do believe is pence. Uh, so what is it? Yummy something, it's gonna say yummy or yarn. Oh, that's the maker's name. So what is it? A blend of inert sugar, honey, colored flavor. What is it? Sunny Spread, ah, oh, it must be just a jar of honey. <laughs> right, that's all that is, let's crack them. Finally, it's been a while. Well, I think I went to my first coin. I can kind of see an edge there. And it's... But what are you? Apart from being green. Half penny, possibly ship. Yeah, no, not ship half penny, just half penny. No, it is ship half penny. Ship half penny, 1949. Not even that old. All right. This is a coin. Mustn't grumble. Can't have the good stuff all the time. Grimmy. Got a signal here, it sounds too good to be true, but you know me, get a live one, see what comes up. It's right underneath that little worm hole. There. Doesn't seem that deep either, so perfect for a live one. And it seems to stay clean. So I don't think this is gonna be shrapnel. I think it's running a bit high for that as well. He says, what's that? Oh, a bit of red brick. I thought it was going to be a bit of shrapnel. And just call me a fool. Ah, uh, so that might be. Ah, uh, you horrible thing. Right, let's crack on. Right, my friends. Um, I just pulled this up. I thought it was a scrap piece of lead at first. And I gave it a little wipe. And I saw it had like a little hole up here. I gave it another little wipe and it's got like a pattern on it. I think is that just like an old tiki tag or something? Don't know. Definitely seems old though. And there's definitely a hole made in it just at the top here. I thought it had some writing on it, but it doesn't, it's just right, just a bit of lead. I'll give him a good spot though in case anything comes of it, as always. Crack on. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I think it was my second coin of the day. No, it isn't a button, I've just realised it's got a shank. <laughs> nope, not a coin. Another bloody button. With nothing on it. I'll take it though. Right, I'm on to the next um, spectacle buckle. Today is about the buckles, isn't it? It's another one of them. It was in there, now it's here. Now it's going on the good side. Right. Crack on. Right, ladies and gentlemen, my next signal. He's out of the old, uh, there's a bit of green stuff. Look, you see it? Well, I think I've located it on the side wall. Is it a coin or a baton? Bloody, what would you get? Bloody baton. Oh, it always gets me going when you see the gold gilding this come off. I mean, that would have been a very fancy button at one point. But it's just a button. Right, let's crack them. Right, my friends, I uh, didn't expect to find one of these here. Uh, well, say one of these, part of one. Uh, looks like a bit of a cradley bell. Um, quite a big one at that. Yeah, I'm gonna call that a cradle bell. Would have had the hole there for the ringer ringer. Yeah, pretty cool. Is that another bit of that? Not nah, a bit of flint. Right. Crack 
Right, it seems to have hit a bit of a, an older part of the field now. Um, this here looks like a pot leg. Looks like a very decorative pot leg as well. Look at that. Oh, wow. It's almost like a foot. Would have been a big old pot at one point. Yeah, man, I like that. Big old chunk of bronze. Find of the day so far, that is. Right, let's crack on. Right, my good friends, uh, I'm to minute signal here. Uh, looks like, I don't know. I was gonna say, I've already had picked up. Is it gonna be a button? It's got a hole, I don't know if the hole's supposed to be there. Oh, it's got some sort of details on it. I don't know if it's a button or a token or, I'm not sure. Let me have a good old wipe and see if I get anything off it. Two secs. Well, I've had a bit of a, it definitely needs a design on it. I can't quite make out the pattern. It's very thin, look, you can see how paper thin some of the cracks and the holes are coming through of it are. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put that in my good pot. See if anything comes of it. Cause usually I've done this before. I've shown you guys and you go, oh, look, turn it that way. And it is a header of a portrait or something. I can't make anything out, but if you guys can uh, see anything like that, let me know. All right, let's crack on. Oh my lord, what the frick in Jesus is this? Oh my god, what is that? That looks old, old. Oh my lord, I don't know what it is. Is, is it a cross? Decorated both sides. Let me have a good clean up and show you what the is it. I don't know. Right, I'm not 100% sure what this is. Um, definitely doesn't think it's uh, what they call furniture fitting. I think it's, I don't know, possibly a necklace or something or something to wear because it's. Both sides have some sort of design on it. Yeah, it doesn't it almost looks like a cross, doesn't it? Like a crucifix, but a very ornate one. Very strange. All right, here we go, let's crack on. On to my next signal out this hole. I think it's furniture fitting. I think that is, oh, I don't know actually. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's a very decorative door handle or knob or something or other. It's still pretty cool. All right, yes, uh, off we drop. All right, gentlemen, my next hole. Pulled up a nice little Georgian. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. Probably get a nice portrait off him and give you a good bit of a clean. Um, George first. George second, George second, obviously. George just second. So yeah, another Georgian coin for the pot. Let's crack on, off we chop. Right, this one rang up. Eight, nine, eight, nine. Dug it anyway, because you always dig. Let's dig everything. Uh, I think it's cut off. I think again, I want to know cut off. Hammered. But which one are you? Which one are you? Never hammered. <gasps> Never hammered off. Oh, void. There's a. Right, let me get cleaned up and show you. But it's definitely, it's definitely cut off. Hammered. Why can't I get a full one? Why is it always the arse? Right, give me a sec. Bit of a clean up as best I can. Um, it's got a little fracture, so you can make it out. A little hairline fracture running through it there, so it's gonna break. If I clean it up anymore, um, I'm gonna say void, long cross, Henry the Third. But I can't get any more details off it because I don't want to break any more. That's hammered coin. Didn't expect to get hammered today, but hey, let's just go show you. Dig them if you signals. Let's crack on. Right, just there is where I just had to cut half hammered. I've got another very similar signal just over here. Let's have a nice little dig of it. Um, this is a 10, 9, 10. Where's it gone? Yeah, there's it. Nice about there. 
yeah, ring up roughly about the same as that old hammer did as well. So, you never know, if I dig hammer, that'd be good, wouldn't it? And if it is hammered, what am I on to? God, that's just falling apart. Um, nothing obvious, stamping out. That quad was absolutely awful. Bad drill, Grim. Still in the old, still in the old. Down, down this way. A little bit. You'll probably shotgun in now, so a little bit of lead. Oh, whatever it is in here. Oh, oh, it's small. Oh, bloody lead. Well, you got to dig them. you got to dig them. Let's go for a live one. Bit of a loud 12. So that's going to be close to the surface, I think. Possibly shotgun end, because I've had a few around this day, but I don't know, it sounds a bit too clean. It could just be shotgun end with a little bit of facing up. Or it could be. That make them easy. Never is. On the live. But I can but hope. Alright my ladies and gentle beans. Right, I don't know if I'm onto another hammered. Oh, oh bloody button. You get. Right. I thought it was a big hammered. It's not, it's just another bloody button. Off a drop. And I'm back on the Victorian, is what this field's famous for. Uh, just half penny. Good nick though. I'll take them all day long, all day long. Nice coins. Swing me on, off a drop. Right, and gentlemen, I've got a bit of a ball situation. Uh, the signal is in this ball. No idea what it is. Is it going to be a coin or baton or a bit of shrapnel? Or... <gasps> it's a coin, coin ball. Uh, I'm going to say threepenny bit. Looking at that. Hey, threepenny. Look at the print on that. Still, another coin for the pot. That's not bad, Nick, that one. It would have been like a golden colour, like a bronzy gold colour, but time itself has eaten up and has made it nice and red. Cool, let's crack on. Just some way back to the car, I'm going to pull this up. <laughs> Is it Noddy's little car? Is it a Noddy car? Corgi Comics, yeah, Noddy's car, Corgi Comics. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? That's some good nick, that as well. He says that and it's falling apart, but still. Never found Nolly's car before. Right, let's crack on. Off a drop. <laughs> Yeah, rabbit's watches in his pocket. 